Andy Johnson, Minnesota State University. This is part two of a four-part series looking at teacher evaluation. In the first one, we described at the beginning of the year, teachers develop a professional development plan. Remember, we are looking at sane ways to document, demonstrate, evaluate, assess whatever you want. The good teachers. We want teachers to be able to demonstrate or document their teaching effectiveness. A good teacher is defined by good teaching. So let's focus on the good teaching, those behaviors. All right, they've developed their plan. This, at the end of the year now, they are going to report their goals. Set their goals, report their goals. So first of all, in regards to professional development, remember you needed to get knowledge. Good teachers have knowledge in four areas. Did you meet your goals related to getting new knowledge? Content area knowledge, pedagogical knowledge, pedagogical content knowledge, knowledge of learners' learning and human potential. Describe how you use it. This is in your report. End of the year, your report. Describe the strategies or ideas that you tried in the theoretical context. Describe the research-based strategy used to enhance learning. Or what about those strategies used to differentiate instruction for learners of different needs, abilities, interests? What are you doing in your classroom to make it multi-level? We know students are not monolithic, uh, homogeneous things. They're all different interests, sizes, abilities. Was there an increase in the use of research-based strategy? What about an increase in the types of research-based or theory-based strategies and techniques? What are you doing in your classroom? Make a case for yourself. Also, describe your service. What are you doing to provide or give back to the students, the school, or the community? This is in your report. You're making a case for yourself. Your report, then, is reviewed by a review team of some sort. Now, these are all people that could be part of the team. It is good for teachers to be included on this. For two reasons. Number one, teaching is an isolated activity. We don't get a chance to see what our peers are doing. And number two, this is good professional development. Looking at what your peers are doing, evaluating, giving feedback, helping to find ways to make each other better by giving feedback and getting feedback. In a perfect world, I would rotate membership of this evaluation team every two years and I would include experienced as well as new teachers. What a great way for new teachers to be invited into the profession. I would ask to include principals and school board members or even parents and community members. They would be reviewing and observing each other and this was one of the best ways for teachers to learn and develop. And at the end, these are the people who might evaluate the report as well as observe each other. And I'll be talking a little bit more in the next one about the portfolio and about observations. Again, this is the end of part two, looking for saner ways to evaluate teachers and not this goofy standardized test scores or gain scores or whatever these cockamamie people come up with.